Captain by your teammates, what does that mean to you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It makes you feel good that you're just doing little things right and just people look up to you. Does it feel like just entering the season healthy so far? Very good. I don't, I don't, I don't remember the last time my arm has felt like this. Uh, it seems like it's always been like achy or something, but it feels normal now. I... What kind of role do you see yourself? <clears throat> what things you're stacking up? Um, <clears throat> I think it'd be good if I could be a starter, but I think I could fit any role that they need me to play. Or could you a closer? I mean, do you a feel close, you're comfortable yeah. in that? Yeah, any role I feel comfortable in, whatever they need me to do. Just the overall depth of the staff that you guys have right now. Uh, unbelievable. I think uh, I don't. I don't think I've seen so many arms that are able to help us. You know, this program was clicking along, going to the CWS about every four years, and now suddenly it's on a different trajectory. What does it feel like? And when newcomers come into the program, they kind of get that sense that, hey, we're, we're we're regulars now. It's it's definitely a different different feel in the locker room. I think when I first came in, it was more um, not as business or too much business. Now it's like everybody gets their stuff done, and it's it's more serious. I would say in a good way, relaxed. If that makes sense. What about Opus? Can you talk about the transformation or just the improvement from him? Um, I see. A <laughs> <laughs> Uh, a lot of maturity in his hit hitting, I would say. Like, I mean, uh, he got a hit off me yesterday. I was pretty butthurt about it, but uh, um, um, just overall, like pitch calling. I really rely on him to pitch call, and he, he just does an outstanding job back there receiving. And um, I don't worry about anybody on base. Like, I don't even, I don't even think twice about picking anybody off, I, I kind of want people to try to steal, just free out, you know? With your arm being healthy, I mean, how much different can you be starting a season than, than maybe you have in the past? Um, well, last year, my arm, when I first started going, my arm got really, really fatigued, and that's kind of why uh, I missed the first uh, weekend. and. Now it seems like like before it was I threw 40 pitches and I was exhausted. Now um, I threw like 50 yesterday and I would I could have gone like another 30 I think. Is that number three starting spot something you're really kind of shooting for? Of course I don't know anybody here that doesn't want to start. What have you seen from Connor and Patrick? You know going into their sophomore seasons. Um, <clears throat> definitely a lot more maturity. Uh, they seem to be pitching a lot better, hitting more spots more often, and like their stuff has gotten better, and um, I would say more consistent too. And then oh. going through the practices, what, what do you think about your, your all's hitters that you face? Our hitters are tough. I, I've been thinking like, is it, is it normal for them to be hitting this well against us? <laughs> or I, I don't know, usually there's maybe a little bit of a break, but there's no break in the lineup even with um, uh, Robert Moore, he's he's stepped in pretty. Uh, it's like he hasn't missed a step. With a kid that comes in that should be getting ready for a senior year in high school, what's that been like? Honestly, it, he transitioned well. He, it's like he's been here. It doesn't even seem like he's younger than us, to be honest. And uh, I kind of expected him to, especially hitting, to be a little bit behind, but he doesn't seem to be behind at all. With him being so young, I think Dave Van Horn talked the other day about how you know he, he wanted you guys to make him feel welcome, and um, I mean I don't mean like you got to make him dinner or whatever, but, but I mean how have you guys kind of gone out of your way to? I, I think he's set just seventeen or something. You guys kind of gone out of your way to to make him feel comfortable. Uh, I think overall we're pretty nice guys, so I mean I don't <laughs> think we really have to go out of our way to make him feel comfortable, but he's. I mean, he, he settled in pretty well. I mean, we hang out with him after practice and stuff like that, so. What, what, what's impressed you about him, his game? Uh, besides um, adjusting to the pitching so quickly, um, definitely his speed in the field, like his hand quickness and his ability to just make plays. 
Just given what Cronin meant to you all last year, I mean, who do you see really trying to get that closers role? I could see um, there's a lot. Of, like the 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 staff depth is pretty deep. I, I could I could see a lot of people filling that role, like uh, Elijah Trest or uh, Adamiak, a freshman, or uh, Jacob Burton. I could see those guys. What about being named a captain on this team with expectations ranked in the top five and some? Is there any added pressure for y'all? I don't. I don't think so. I just. Uh, I just keep doing what I do. Just leading by example. I think. Just. I think it's just doing what you're supposed to do, and people look up to that. Where would you say the talent level is with this team? You know, compared to what you've had with the last two college world series runs. Um. I would say overall, this is the most talent that we'd had. That we've had. Uh, the other teams, maybe there was like a Blaine or an Isaiah or a, someone like that that was exceptionally talented, but I think like as a whole, um, the most talented team. Okay. Yeah.